Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to my three takeaways episode from the interview that I did with two of my clients with Jill and Tank. I hope you guys absolutely loved this interview. I know I was super fired up to be able to to bring them to you because they were a little bit nervous going into it, which um, which I completely understand, right? Like I'm the podcaster, I'm the person who is okay with getting behind the mic and, and talking and, and that's something that really got them out of their comfort zone, but it's allowed them to grow and, and gain more confidence in themselves, I'm sure. And, and I hope you guys got a lot of great information. And if you are somebody who has a weight loss goal or just really any fitness goal in general, I want you to make sure that you go back and you listen to it and you take notes. Like we talked about so much of the goal setting framework that I use in in coaching my clients that literally guarantees their success that I want you to make sure you go back and, and have notes so you can start to apply this yourself. Because knowledge without application doesn't mean anything. The tr- where true wisdom come from, comes from is actual application of knowledge because I don't really believe that you know something until you actually do it or, or teach it to somebody else. So make sure you go back and take notes. Also, if you just listened to the audio and you didn't watch the YouTube video, I would recommend you going to watch that because if you, as you heard in the audio, I shared their scoreboards that we, that we use to keep track of throughout their goal setting process and I showed you exactly what their strategy was and exactly what their scoreboards look like and I want you to be able to create that for yourself so that you can attack your fitness goal as well. Also, you can check out my own 10-week programs at nickcarrier.com slash 10-week programs and you get more information there. But for now, let's get right into my three takeaways with Jill and Tank. Number one is meet yourself where you're at. Now, this is where really my coaching can really come in because a lot of times, People want to just go gung-ho and they don't really think about what they've been willing and able to do in the past. And one of the terms that I use in in my coaching practice is workable. And and workable means that you need to be able to do something just a little bit more based off of what you've been willing and able to do in the past. So for example, Jill talks about how she knows that she's someone who is not really willing to cook for herself. She just doesn't know how, she's not interested, and, and she just didn't want to. So she was honest with herself and she was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Clean Eats and and make sure I get pre-packaged meals and pre-prepared meals for myself to, to set myself up for success. So she was honest with herself. She met herself where, where, she, where she was at and she was like, I'm not going to cook everything. I'm going to go get these prepared meals. And because I think a lot of people think what I have to do in order to meet my weight loss goal is like completely change my habits. Like I see this person doing this thing, so I must have to do that. But it's like, no, you need to meet yourself where you're at. For, for Tank, he liked to cook. And he was like, I like kind of mixing things up. I like learning new recipes. So for him, he, that's what he did. He, he was just trying to figure out um, things that were closest to the source and kind of, and, and kind of, you know, intrigue himself with his curiosity in, in cooking. And so he 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 did cooking, but that wasn't for Jill. So you got to meet yourself where you're at when you're chasing down your goal. Takeaway number two was you have to self-correct quickly. One of the things that makes me so frustrated is I think a lot of people think that I need to be perfect in order to hit my fitness goal. I have to hit every single workout to the best of my ability. I have to hit every single meal to the best of my ability. When it's like, no. People who are really successful in anything aren't always perfect in achieving their success. They just self-correct really quickly. Again, people who are very successful aren't always perfect. They self-correct really quickly. So people who are really healthy, it's not like they never have a sip of alcohol or they never have a pizza or they never have ice cream. They never have these things. It's that they, when they have them or when they have a bad weekend, they self-correct really quickly. They, they work out the next morning or their their next meal is really good. They don't let the one de- failure or it's not even a failure. It's They don't let the one bad meal. They don't let the one drink. They don't let the one bad workout or, or, or couple of ba- a couple of missed days of workouts transition to uh, another few days or another week or another two weeks. So you have to self-correct really quickly because I truly believe that perfection is more about consistency rather than intensity because everybody screws up, everyone has life get in the way, but it's about getting back up quickly. And the takeaway number three was set yourself up for success. So many times when people are chasing down their fitness goal, they think like, okay, now I'm just going to start being more disciplined. Like I know I need to eat this meal. I know I need to work out this many times a week or I know I need to do this workout. And so I'm now that I have this goal, I'm just going to be more disciplined and I'm just going to do it. It's like, look, you're not just going to all of a sudden flip that switch and be more disciplined. To me, following through is less about the discipline of the individual and more about how they set themselves up for success. So Jill talked about how 
one of the biggest things for her was getting her morning workouts in. And so instead of just being more disciplined, she put her phone across the room so that she wouldn't press snooze in the morning. So it wasn't her about just her like waking up motivated and, and being more disciplined, getting the workout in. It was about her putting the phone across the room. And she, she also talked about making sure that she got to bed on time and it wasn't on her phone at night. And she talks about how she would have her water bottle on her all the time. And, and that set herself up for success for, for hydration. And for Tank, he didn't just rely on trying to make sure that he was just getting his meals in and being more disciplined with his meals. He did meal prep every single week. So on Sunday, he prepped his meals for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, he prepped it for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And so he set himself up for success so that it increased the likelihood that he had those nutritious meals. So again, guys, my three takeaways. Number one, meet yourself where you're at. You don't have to take on the habits of somebody else just because you see that's what they're doing and they're being successful with that. Ask yourself what you've been willing and able to do in the past and do a little bit more than that. Takeaway number two was self-correct quickly. Perfection is less about intensity and more about consistency. Everybody's going to fall down. Everybody's going to have bad days. Everybody's going to have life get in the way, but it's about self-correcting and getting back up quickly. And then takeaway number three was set yourself up for success. Don't rely on sheer discipline and sheer willpower in order to get the difficult things done. Set yourself up for success so that you increase the likelihood of your follow through. I hope you guys enjoyed these three takeaways. I hope you enjoyed the interview with Jill and Tank. If you did not listen to it, I would highly, 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 highly encourage that you go back and do so and that you take some notes. And, and like I said in the beginning, and that you start to take some action on this because knowledge without application is nothing. It's like not even knowledge at that point. You're going to forget it if you don't start applying it. That's what that's why I when I read every single morning, I try to take notes and I'm like, okay, how can I start applying these things? And, and some things are more applicable than others. And, and so if this thing, if this isn't that applicable to you, then then, then okay. But if it is applicable to you, I want you to start taking action right here, right now. If you want to learn more about the 10-week programs that Jill and, and Tank went through and so many others have gone through, then go to nickcarrier.com slash 10-week programs. Again, nickcarrier.com slash 10-week programs to learn more. But other than that, let's start taking action on these three three takeaways so we can get closer to the healthiest version of ourselves and get closer and closer to your best you.